on YouTube family? Jake here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on this video. I'm excited to talk about my experience using a kettlebell. I actually got one right here. This is a pretty neat one. I love the design of this. It's a primal ape. It's from on it. It's on it right on the bottom. Oh, it says, oh no, it doesn't say on it. It's from on it. It's a, oh, it does say right on the back here. It says on it. Um, popular, popular brand. Uh, I love their designs, but I'm going to be talking about in this video, basically how I got into using kettlebells, my experience as a whole, um, just things that I like, I, I find interesting about it. Why do I use them? All my whole experience as a total. So if you're new here, you're joining for the first time, welcome. My name's Jake Portalise. I love making fitness content, health related content, uh, content about our mindset, right? I'm all about it. So if you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps me so much to keep on putting out these videos for you guys and smash that like button and make sure to comment if you're new as well. Let me know what's up. So to start, let's get right into it. Why did I decide to get into kettlebells, all right? What's my experience behind that? Honestly, it was seeing people on Instagram, on social media that I follow um, that are these high uh, fitness influencers use them. And I thought it was interesting. And I was like, okay, quarantine was kind of hitting, right? And the gyms were closing down. So I wanted to get more into this. And I'm like, all right, this is the perfect opportunity. I have resistance bands, right? I had like, I had, a, at the time I had a homemade pull-up bar. I had weights, but I wanted a kettlebell because I thought they were unique. And I'm like, oh, well, let me step this up. So I went out and I actually went on this offer up website, which is like an app you can find uh, anything near you. So I found a kettlebell near me and I'm like, okay, let's, let's do this. Got the kettlebell and that's the one, not this one, but it's another one. It's a 25 pound bell. Now I like that one a lot as well. It's the one I started with, but I wanted to, I still want to increase the weight. Like this one I have is like a 20 pound. So I have it a lot, really, really low. And if you check my Instagram, I'll link it in the description below, you'll find a lot of these kettlebell workouts that I do. I do a lot of single exercises, but you'll see I only use one kettlebell. It's because I don't want to pair up both of these because they're uneven weight distribution. But my goal is to get a 50 pound, to get a 60 pound, right? Those heavy kettlebells is really, really where it's going to make a difference for your body. You'll notice it. And that's We'll talk, we'll get into that. But basically how I got into it was noticing people see, noticing people do it because I've known what kettlebells are for a very long time. I've used them when I used to do CrossFit, um, but I never really purchased one and started actually to learn more about different kind of exercises to do. So I went out, I purchased one and now I'm in love with them. And now I just, my main goal is to get a higher weight because, you know, as you work over time, what I find with kettlebells is that it's great for building right lean muscle mass. Uh, as I work and do it over time, I kind of find that I'm go I need a higher weight. All right, I'm I'm in need of a higher weight class, even if it's 40, 45, 50, something in that range. Um, I'm gonna seek a lot more benefits doing that. So that's kind of how I got into it. Now I'll get into kind of why I find kettlebells beneficial. So honestly, the main reason, uh, one of the main reasons, there's many, but you can see right off the bat that the handle of this, right? See how it's it's curled, right? It's curved. So the handle is unique. So when I grab this, I can grab it in many ways. I can grab it like this. I can grab it like this. I can grab it like forward on like this. I can do anything and it allows me, see how it allows me to kind of articulate my wrist in different ranges of motion. See, I can do this. I can kind of twirl it. I can do different kinds of things with a kettlebell rather than a barbell. That's the big difference. So a barbell is one flat plane, right? It's like a fixed joint. There's not really anything you can't, with a barbell, you can't move it in this kind of direction. Sure, you can move it on one plane, but you can't twist it and rotate and articulate your wrist as you're going through a motion. You're kind of restricted with a barbell and even kind of like a dumbbell, you're restricted to that one fixed motion. Whereas a kettlebell, I have to actually maneuver it and focus on different areas of my muscles and my body that's going to actually target when I'm going through a certain lift, like say a shoulder press, right? I have to keep this stable all the way up, all the way through, even when it's turning on its edge, I still have to focus and keep that stable. So that's, that was a ramble right there, but that was that's really one of the biggest main takeaways that I got this is because it's going to work my body in a different way than, than other weights don't. And I find that really interesting. Even the fact that it's like a 20 pound, um, you're still going to see a, a difference when you do like a workout. Um, so that's one of the benefits that I find from kettlebells. Um, another benefit I would say is what you can do, right? You're going to be doing a lot of functional movements with kettlebells. Uh, so like 
you can see everything that you can do, you can do it in like one motion. So what I mean is if I'm doing something like a kettlebell swing, I can do the swing and right after the swing, I can flip it up onto the side. I can do like a snatch and then I can press all in one motion. So I can boom, come down, swing, snatch, press, and just hold this, this fluid motion. Whereas you can do that with a dumbbell, but it's more fluid with a kettlebell. You'll just have like that feeling, I guess I could say, is another benefit. It's easier to kind of rotate and grip and hang on to with this uh, handle on the top. So that's what I like a lot. And I love doing different kind of unique exercises. Uh, that's kind of what I was mentioning. But the kind of exercises you can do are much more advanced and you can lengthen out than you can with using a dumbbell resistance band. It's, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can do certain and unique kind of exercises with any type of equipment. A, a resistance band will give you unique exercises rather than a kettlebell. So will um, something like, like, um, you know, a, a barbell, I'll even say a barbell. It'll give you unique and different kind of exercises rather than a kettlebell. So I find that really interesting. And that's one of the main reasons why I got it as well. So um, kind of covered my experience with it um what i like to do so i'll even say you can check my instagram page as well um like i said i'll link that in the description below but you'll see all my different kind of workouts uh i love doing mobility type of stuff with this i've probably done more mobility than actual workouts with my kettlebell is because i'm just finding it so many different things that i can do that are unique um to fit my body type um that's that's the cool thing about using these so there's a lot more i want to do with this but that was just a short video i want to mention of why i like using them um, like I said, my plan is to get a higher weight and I'm going to be making a lot more videos of this, um, in the future of like full body workouts, some full body mobility. But other than that, thank you guys for listening. I hope you might recommend buying one of these. They're, they're awesome. They're incredible. Um, on it, I'll link their page below too. If you want to check their stuff out. Other than that, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Stay happy out there. Stay healthy.